Well, good Tuesday morning to you. How are you on this blessed and wonderful Tuesday? It is me, your host, Tanika, and I want to thank you so much for joining me on From Behind the Veil. I also want to thank those who are going to take the time to listen to this on the replay. I pray that um, this series has been blessing you thus far. I can say that it has truly, truly been blessing me. There have been times, you know, I myself had to go back and I've had to listen to, you know, what God was saying. And it was a excellent reminder to me that, you know, he speaks in so many ways, in so many ways. And I found it to be a blessing to also recognize the many ways in which he does come to see about me and the way that he does come to see about you. I pray that on today, that this episode meets you right where you are, meets you right where you need to hear from God. And and you can be not only made aware, but you could become secure in the fact that God will come and see about you. He cares for you and he loves you with an everlasting love. Now on this week, I want to tell you that I'm coming to you a little bit different. You know, we're We're going to talk about when we're in need of direction and we need God to come see about us, not just to give us, you know, which way we should go. Lord, should I choose this job or should I choose that job? Do I take, you know, this opportunity or even Lord, this door that is set before me, is it an open door that you have for me or is is it a, a distraction? Because sometimes ladies opportunities that come before us, even though they could be good opportunities, even though they could be things that, you know, are, are good for us or good for others. Not every door that we walk, that we come across is a door that we are meant to walk through. Some doors can actually be sent as a distraction. And so on today, when we're asking God to come see about us, I want to talk about when we're in a place, whether it's a a decision we need to make, whether it's a circumstance that we're in, whether, you know, we're, we're in like in a crossroads, what do I do? And God, I need you to come see about me in this place. So we're going to talk about when we're in need of direction on today, I'm going to be, um, very forthcoming with you all and tell you that this particular episode, I am still living out. And if you've listened to any of my previous episodes, I always tell you that I don't want to talk to you from a place I have not been. You don't benefit from that. I don't benefit from that. But if I talk to you from something that I have already experienced or even in the midst of that I am experiencing and I can share with you the lessons that I have learned or the lessons that I am currently learning, I believe God not only gets the glory out of that, but it also prepares you so that that you can know and you can firsthand see, okay, if God is doing it for her and he is no respecter of persons, then I know that he's going to do it for me. So on today, I'm going to tell you to go ahead and, you know, get your notebook, get your, your cup of coffee, your cup of tea, your water, whatever it is you would have ladies this morning, because we're just in conversation. So this morning, I'm going to tell you, I've already got my cup of coffee. Now we are going to go ahead and we are going to dive right into this. Now, I want to I want to share something with you. Right now, I am currently serving as a caregiver for both of my parents. And they're in two different places from a health perspective. And I've really needed direction, not just on a monthly basis or on a weekly basis, but on a daily basis, we're faced with decisions that have to be made in regards to care, meaning, you know, physical care currently. Um, And I'm just being very forthcoming with you all. Currently, my mother is in a rehab and um, she's got some upcoming appointments and some upcoming procedures that she's going to have to go through. And so we're in need of saying, well, not in need. We, we are currently saying, Lord, give us direction. What is going to be best for us? Not what is going to be comfortable for us, but God, what is going to be best for us? And in all honesty, some of the decisions that have to be made aren't, you know, real easy. 
decisions. They're decisions that are going to come with some ramifications, nothing negative, but it's going to be a little bit uncomfortable for everybody involved. But nonetheless, I'm like, God, give us direction. Help us to trust in you. Help us to have faith in knowing that as long as we're leaning and we're depending on you and we're seeking you, you're going to come see about us in this situation and you're going to order our steps. Ladies, when, when we're in need of direction and we need God to come see about us, it is so important that we are open to whatever it is God wants to say, whatever it is that he wants to do. Now, just this morning, I was having a conversation and the person that I was talking with was like, you know what? I've been praying for you. And in fact, yesterday when they called, they gave me some instruction that they believed really came from the Lord. And it was so, it it really was because I, I heeded that instruction and it made my day so much easier. And their instruction was just this throughout the day. I want you to take your time and I just want you to close your eyes and I want you to just feel God's presence and feel him breathing. He he was like, as you breathe in, breathe in God's grace and breathe in his love. As you exhale, exhale expectations that you have set on yourself and others, exhale the different, you know, Things not so much of your responsibility, but the things that you've been holding on to that maybe God wants you to let go of. Recognize that which you can do, like the serenity prayer. And everything else, you got to leave in God's hands. And as I begun to do that yesterday, you all, I woke up this morning and I'm going to use this word, burdens lifted. Burdens lifted. And if you're in a, if you're in a space right now, you're in a situation, you're facing a decision or you're facing anything and you're not quite sure which way to go, or you might know which way you need to go. And it's just a way that you wouldn't choose or a way that you believe is going to be uncomfortable. I want you to approach the Lord like this, father, you know, I see the decision that has to be made. I know the decision that has to be made. I don't like the decision. However, what I can lean on and what I can trust in and what I can depend on is the fact that you're going to be with me throughout. With this decision, as I walk it out, you are with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. And so, Father... I'm just expressing to you where I am, but I'm also saying to you, God, I know that it is going to be well with my soul because thou art with me. So I thank you for gracing me and I thank you for being with me. I thank you, Lord, for speaking to my heart and for renewing my mind and enable me to see this the way that you see this and let me be confident in you and let me cast all of my cares on you because you care for me. If we can just approach God like that, I'm not saying that you're immediately going to feel, you know, like everything is gone, but I can tell you, you will feel lighter. And I can say that with whole assurance because yesterday, ladies, that is what I did. And today I have that testimony. I can tell you I'm lighter, even though I know, you know, some of the things that we're going to have to do, even though I know that. I'm I'm more, not comfortable, but I'm more assured that God is with me. It also enabled me to shift my perspective and shift what it was that I'm looking at. Instead of looking at the fact that, you know, these decisions need to be made. And sometimes we got to make decisions in life when there are no comfortable decisions. You got to make a decision either way. But today, recognizing that I made some decisions that aren't necessarily comfortable. But let me tell you, this morning I got up with a praise. And as I began to worship, you know, it's one of the ways that God comes to see about me. And I don't know if this is one of the ways that he comes to see about you, especially when I'm needing direction, is he will speak to me through song. And this morning, I was really, really in a worship mode. I was really, let me, let me give you an example. I love Marvin Sapp 
And one of the songs that came to me was, He Has His Hands On You. And I, I invite you to really go, you can YouTube it, you can pull it up on an Apple Music, what, what, you can pull it up on iHeartRadio, anywhere. It's Marvin Sapp, He Has His Hands On You. And as the words of that song really, really began to register, I just found myself being calm and in a place of peace because I recognized even in the midst of this, even in needing direction and even saying, Lord, order my steps, direct my path. He has his hands on me. And my sister, he has his hands on you. Not only does he have his hands on you, but he has his hands on the situation. He has his hands on the people that possibly may need to be also making decisions for you on your behalf. One of the decisions, you know, where other people are involved as it relates to me and being a caregiver is insurance. And so I just became fully confident that, you know what, God, you were going to touch the hearts of those who are reviewing paperwork. You are going to touch the the hands and the hearts of physicians. You are going to touch the hands and the hearts of administrators. Why? Because not only do you have your hands on me, but you have my your hands on this situation. You have your hands on my parents. You have your hands on those that are in places of authority and also have or in position to make decisions as it relates to my parents. But God, ultimately, it's in your hands. And that was one of the ways that God came to see about me. He let me know. He gave me that assurance. And so I want to say to you today, look for the ways that God is coming to see about you. Expect him to do just that. When you are in need of direction, you've got to know that God is going to come with instructions. You have got to know that God already knows the way. He knows the path that is set before you. He knows what you need to do. And he is strengthening you. Not he's going to strengthen you. He is presently strengthening you. And you've got to be fully confident. Even if you have to speak it out of your mouth, out of the heart, the mouth speaks. So even if you speak, going back earlier to the prayer that that I was just sharing with you, if you can begin to say, you know what, God, you have your hands on me and I thank you. I don't have to see it right now. All I have to do is know it. All I have to do is know that you've got your hands on me. And as we begin to do that, God is hearing you. And, And your faith is causing him to move. I pray that I'm I'm making sense to you on today. When you are in need of direction, my sister, know that God is already there. And, And, you know, the word of God says that he will make the crooked places straight. And so the crooked place, maybe you've reached a bend in the road and, and you can't see all the way around the bend, but know that God does. And if you're trusting in him and you're leaning on him and you're not leaning on your own understanding, rest assured, he's going to take you around the bend. He is going to make your crooked place straight. He will make your crooked place straight. And maybe you can't see the road and, and, and maybe you're in, in need of direction because you're God, you're saying, God, I really can't see. I, I, I can't see. So open up my eyes. I want to encourage you, talk to him about that and then wait patiently for the Lord. Wait patiently on him. Because he's going to show you. He's going to show you and you got to trust God's plan above all else. And and trust me, I'm speaking to myself right now, as well as speaking to you, trusting God's plan, trusting his way. I had to get to the place where I had to stop questioning God, you know, this particular path right here. Why? I had to stop saying why and say, God, what? What are, what are you desiring me to learn? What are you desiring to show me? 
And as I began to do that, he began to make my pathway clear. Because even though I'm dealing with things with my parents, during this season, you all, I've seen my faith grow. During this season, I've seen my prayer life increase. And that's not a negative thing. You know, um, Cora Jakes Coleman has a book coming out called Ferocious Warrior. And she's talking about prayer in that in that book. And I can tell you that during this season, oh yes. Oh yes, I have had to become in my prayer, in my prayer life, I have had to become that ferocious warrior. But in my doing that, I have become fully confident that God is moving. And, you know, I, I have a friend that loves to tell me, you know, I love to pray and I love to check on my prayers. I love to pray and I love to check on my prayers. And God loves it when we come to him, especially when we're in need of direction and we're not taking things into our own hands. Now, I've been guilty of that. Have you been? The blessed thing is that he gives us grace so that we can take our hands off of it and leave it to him. Now, I said a few minutes ago, you know, that in, this morning in my worship, and, and God comes to see about me quite often through song. Another song that he had laid um, on my heart was Grateful by Hezekiah Walker. Last night, it was This Is How I Fight My Battle. And then uh, Miranda Curtis, open heaven. And when you're in need of direction, please understand, my sister, that you are under an open heaven. The only thing that can close the heavens up, really, is us. If we're not willing to allow God to shower down on us. Or if we have the expectation that heaven is closed to us. And if that's where you find yourself, you know, that heaven isn't open to you, I bind that. And I pray that you would begin to really hear the the voice of the Lord and that the voice of the enemy will be silenced. Because you are under an open heaven. You are under an open heaven. When we are in need of direction and we need God to come see about us, we've got to be mindful that we don't give our feelings dominance. We can't do things based upon how we feel. We cannot. We we can't say, well, God, I feel like trusting you, so I'm going to trust you. We've got to say, nope, God, I trust you in spite of how I feel. You know, God isn't, God isn't after doing things according to our feelings because us, our feelings, I mean, let's think about it. One minute we feel like doing something, the next minute we don't. And when we operate in all of our feelings, we actually hinder ourselves because our motivation is feeling. Our motivation isn't truth of God's word. Our motivation isn't faith. Our motivation isn't confidence in God when we're operating from a, from our feelings. And if you're in need of direction, I, I want to ask you, what are you feeling? And are you allowing your feelings to take over? There was one point, you all, I really was. My feelings, I was feeling, being very honest with you, I was feeling anxious and I was feeling overwhelmed. And so the only thing I thought about was things from a place of anxiety and from a place of feeling overwhelmed. So every decision I was trying to make, I was doing it based upon those two emotions. That's not good. Because anxiety doesn't allow you to see things as though they are. And when you're feeling overwhelmed, you're so weighted down that all you see is the weight. You don't see a clearing. You don't see a path. 
All you see is the weight. And I had to ask God, you know, God, call me, get me to a place of peace. And I had to go back to Psalm 91. I needed to get in the secret place so that God could calm me, calm my fears, calm my anxiety, and then get me to the place where I was casting my cares on him, every care. And sometimes I verbally prayed this these things out, these burdens, sometimes I wrote them out so that I could cast them on the one who is able to move mountains. And so I encourage you on today, I want you to examine your feelings because this is another way that God is going to come see about you. He'll talk to you about your feelings. And if you're not sure what you're feeling, tell him that. And allow Holy Spirit to speak to you. I pray that this is helping you on today. If you are in need of direction. And you need God to come see about you in this place. Expect him to do just that. Expect him to do just that. May you be blessed on today.